So obviously it's been winter, so I haven't posted a video in a while, but some things have changed. I um, still have my sailboat, of course. It's over there. And it's another aluminum boat. Picked it up in November, but actually since then, I managed to um, locate this boat, which is a 79 Marquis. Riviera, an old uh, teeny trailer, probably I imagine the original trailer, 79, an outboard, outboard and a Mercury 470 inboard outboard engine, picked up in western Massachusetts, um, before that it lived its life in New York, uh, upstate New York on one of the lakes, like Ontario I think, and um, so now it's mine. Anyways, um, project's coming up. I gotta get the lights going. Can't imagine how I got away with driving all the way from Western Massachusetts without the lights working, but we managed. It's Memorial Day weekend, that's probably part of it. Um, gotta redo this strap um, here. It's tied off right there, so I gotta fix that. But actually a pretty solid boat. I don't know about this trailer, if anyone has any ideas um, for ocean use. I use this in the ocean, which I plan on doing. I don't know how it's going to stand up to the um, to the water, and if there's anything I can do to prevent it from rusting more. Like I said, it's been a freshwater boat for at least the past 10 years, and previously, I don't think it's ever been in the ocean. Um, Going to clean up and paint the boat a little bit. Those are all minor things. Um, take the cover off. It's actually the first time I've really been underneath it. I haven't even been in the inside of the boat yet. Because I, uh, I got it so inexpensively, I just took it and ran. Snap's done. Snap is done. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I got some teak here to redo. Last there. Don't trust that so much right now. There's a little screw I gotta fix in that. Step up here. So the seats, <laughs> they're functional. They're pretty, but they're functional. Front holder here, board of your seats, and then button it some more to check out the rest of it. So far, so good. So into the last days of May here, the last day of May 2017, and um, this is day three with my uh, Free to Me brand new boat, 1979 Maquis Riviera. Yesterday, I uh, sawzalled off the uh, tail lights uh, because the previous owner wanted his plate back and it was rusted to it. And I took off this uh, strap, which was uh, actually completely torn off and he had it tied together and hooked up. It was um, a mess. So there's a bolt that goes through here that I had to sawzall off and undo the strap. So that was easy enough to get that done. Um, all in all, the uh, trailer's pretty good. Gonna clean it up a little bit, um, sand it a little bit, put another coat of paint on it to keep it from rusting. Um, kind of rusting right there that I'm worried about, but it'll clean up, I'm sure. It's still a lot of steel. It's got the old TD sticker there. Um, they kind of spray painted over, it looks like. I think you can still buy those online. Um, gonna buff out, gonna buff out the side. Ooh, that's worse than I thought. Probably can't get that sticker anymore, I imagine. Uh, maybe the other. Maybe someone can duplicate it. Let me know if they can. Get some scratches in the gel coat here. Gonna do something about that. Um, 
they had it in a pond and they haven't registered it since 2011, but supposedly it was running in the water last year. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use side markers or not. May or may not. But definitely the back, of course. Um, this is loose, so I got to clean this all up, teak it, clean this, put some new stainless bolts through it. Maybe get a uh, couple new caps for here. Clean this all up and paint it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe we can clean it, maybe we can't. I'm not that worried about it. Again, going to buff that all out. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. This side is much better than the other side. Just got one little dig here. Again, got all be buffed out. And the reason why I'm making this video too is because I couldn't find anything online on this boat. So if anyone should buy one of these boats, um, probably the interior is going to be gone. This one has the original interior pretty much intact, so it's good to uh, make a video of it.